What's going on YouTube? It is Luke Waters back in the video. And today I was working on the Buick, trying to get it fixed up, ready for this winter. Uh, I was working on replacing the rear uh, window motor regulator, which is why my window is currently down. So as I'm replacing it, I get the new regulator in, no problems there. I go to plug it in, the motor, and I'm like, wait a minute, there's no wiring harness or connectors or nothing. And then I remembered a long time ago, I had cut some wires out of my uh, old white Buick I had, trying to get the, uh, the rear window to work as well. And I thought all I had to do was take off a connector and splice it together. Well, I've been starting this project at 11.30, and it's currently two o'clock. I was so confused on why there was no wiring that I could splice into. I was looking around for about a good hour and a half trying to figure out what in the heck is going on with this thing. Come to realize I took off the passenger side to see what was going on. And there's a brown and a blue wire that goes straight to the uh, like switch control. And that's supposed to go to your motor for power and ground. For whatever reason, I don't remember taking those out. I really don't. But something did look kind of funky with the wiring. Like it looked really empty compared to all the other connectors. And that's finally what I figured out. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. I'm gonna go to the junkyard. Hopefully I can find a piece of wiring that I need to go to the connector, to the switch, to the motor. So my rear window will work once again. Like I said, winter's coming up. I wanna make sure everything on this car works. I wanna make sure everything's kind of squared away before the cold weather hits. I also got a tire that keeps going flat. I need to get that looked at as well. Mainly today, I wanted to get that done and really clean up the interior thing because it's a freaking mess in here. It is, I mean, you probably can't see it well on camera because I'm in the shadows, but there's just a lot of dirt in here. Uh, the construction side of that is like a pretty, is pretty much a big mud pit and it's no good. So I figured I'd take you guys with me, go to the junkyard, hopefully find the piece of wiring and hopefully it gets fixed. Unpopular opinion, this is the best Mountain Dew you can get by the way it's absolutely delicious I'll tell you what though this is an absolute beautiful day here in Fort Wayne, indiana driving montage Woo! coliseum Fort wayne's famous coliseum w is up here ivy tech is over there i think ivy tech's over there you've never been to Fort Wayne, indiana it's a nice little town i don't, i like it here everything's close everything's nearby like where i live at everything is literally within either five minutes or 15 minutes it's so convenient it's so nice Okay, yeah, junkyard, I got the loot. That's the wiring harness I needed. And one trick I learned actually in the junkyard was I brought a bobby pin with me to help undo the connectors, but what actually turned out to be better was that little push pin right there. Oops! But yeah, we're gonna head back home. We're gonna get this wiring installed and uh, yeah, hopefully get this Buick all wrapped up, get it all cleaned up for the week. My videos haven't been very consistent lately on like specific topics, but my girlfriend's car, that silver Grand Prix that I made videos of is no longer with us, we should say. Finally got her a new, well, new to us car. It's a 2014 Ford Edge Limited. It's actually super nice. Like I'm a little bit jealous. The car runs and drives great. It does need some brakes. But in today's market, for the price we paid for it, we can't complain. I think we paid like 14 grand for it. Like I said, today's market is absolutely absurd on how expensive cars are. So I mean, for 14 grand, it's a nice car. It's gonna last her a long time. It's very nice. The heated seats work, the air works, but like I said, it needs brakes. It has like a little hum when you drive it, and then when you sit, when you push on the brakes, it, uh, it pulsates pretty hard. So, but we're gonna get in contact with the dealership. Hopefully, they can get that squared away. If that they can, that would be absolutely fantastic. What I said earlier in the video about living so close where I'm at in Fort Wayne is it's so convenient, man. Like I'm ready to move out to the country and have some property and this and that. But where I'm at is so freaking nice and convenient the uh, industrial side of Fort Wayne. It's not the most prettiest thing in the world, but it's Fort Wayne. Just to show you guys the mess that I'm dealing with. <laughs> I literally cut all the wiring back because I thought it was going insane, but all right, let's see if this works. I think I got my wiring backwards. Here's what I meant by that push pin idea. Just take a little push pin like that. Push on the top side of the connector. Straight out. That easy. Woo. Uh oh. Hey, I should put my window in first. Now, 
trying to get this wiring all cleaned up back together and I can resume cleaning the car and it's only 315 the longest detail this car I've ever done <laughs> Interior is looking so much better. The floor mats will cover all those stains up. But do you guys want to see something really disgusting? Take a look at this armrest right here, right? Grease and oil. This is some like lemon scented rag. Moist towel, if you will. Oh, look at that. That is de disgusting. It's all over my seats. This poor car, man, I tell you what, this car has been an amazing car to me for the past like four years. I think it's time I finally give it the proper respect it deserves and maybe pay somebody to give this thing a full detail because I tell you what, it's pretty gross in here. More dirt. More dirt. More dirt. Oh, that already feels much better just sitting in here. Now for the dash. There's my caprice. It really goes to show you how much like dead skin and dirt and grime builds up in your center console when you don't clean it regularly. It's honestly pretty disgusting. Even like if I didn't work construction, just putting my bare arm right there all the time, just leaving dead skin behind, it's gross. A little wipe down, get nice and clean, all the dirt and dust off of it. And there you go, nice and clean. Happy to have this window working again. Nice and fresh. So that's gonna be the video for today. I know it's, I know I'm kind of cutting it short, but there's some kids over there that won't stop screaming. So no point in making a video outside. And obviously nothing new with this beast of a car yet. Like I said, got the girlfriend a new car, swinging some parts. Um, yeah, the usual. If you guys want to see more content with the Buick, let me know. There's plenty of stuff I could do with it yet. Uh, the car needs, uh... maybe I don't watch the outside of it, but I think it's supposed to rain sometime next week, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, that wiring thing was, uh... that was some crazy stuff. Never seen anything like that before. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It's been Luke Waters, and I'll see you guys in the next one.